everybody and welcome back to lesson two in week three. Today we are going to be going through the keywords and the definitions for the keywords. Before we go through the definitions, I would like you to have a look at the pictures on the screen. You can pause it if you want to. Try and write down as many things that you can see on the screen. What do you think all of these things have in common? Talk to your partner. When you're ready, you can play the video. What they have in common is they all make sounds and they all make different sounds. Some are louder and some are quieter. Keywords and definitions. Ear. The ear is made up of three different sections that work together to collect sounds and send them to the brain. The outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. Eardrums. The membrane that separates the outer and middle parts of the ear and vibrates when sound waves strike it. Sound waves. Sound is made up of vibrations or sound waves that we can hear. These sound waves are formed by objects vibrating, shaking back and forth. Sound waves travel through air, water and solid objects as vibrations. When they reach our ears, these waves make the delicate skin of the eardrums vibrate. Distance. The length of space between two points. Soundproof. Materials that are capable of keeping sound from entering or escaping. There is a picture below of somebody who is using these materials to make a soundproof box. Particles. When any object vibrates, it causes movement in the air particles. These particles bump into the particles close to them, which makes them vibrate too, causing them to bump into more air particles. This movement, called sound waves, keeps going until they run out of energy. Vacuum. A vacuum is a space with nothing in it, not even air. Sound absorption. Items that absorb sound don't reflect the vibrations. Soft items such as carpet and curtains will help to absorb sound and make the room quieter. For example, if you think about our classrooms, we have soundproof curtains that are big and very thick and black. Volume. The volume is the perception of loudness from the intensity of a sound wave. Vibration. Sound is created when something vibrates and sends waves of energy into our ears. The vibrations travel through the air or another medium, such as solid, liquid or gas, to the ear. The stronger the vibrations, the louder the sound. Sounds are fainter the further you get from the sound source. Amplitude. The size of a vibration is called the amplitude. The bigger the amplitude, the louder the sound. You can feel these when you put your fingers against your throat and talk. Pitch. Some sounds are higher than others. The pitch is how high or low a sound is. Pitch is the highest or lowest sound an object makes. Objects that vibrate slowly make a low pitch. For example, a drum. Objects that vibrate quickly make a higher pitch. For example, a recorder. Decibels, a unit for measuring the loudness of sound. Sound energy. Sound is energy that we can hear. It is a type of kinetic energy that is made from the vibration of matter. Sound moves from the source of its vibration through other matter, like air or water. Depending on how the sound moves or the type of vibrations that made it, sound can be loud or soft, high or low, or distorted. Frequency. Frequency is the speed of the vibration, and this determines the pitch of the sound. As you can see below, there are a picture of low frequency and a picture of high frequency sound waves. Solid. Solid is firm and stable in shape. It's not liquid or fluid. Liquid. A liquid is a form of matter. It is settled between solid and gas. Gas. Gases are air-like substances that can move around freely, or they might flow to fit in a container. Your task for today's lesson is to go through the keywords and definitions that you have already written down and see if you can add them and present them in a really cool way which will help you to remember what they mean throughout the course of this topic. For task two, I would like you to try and have a go at writing some sentences using the keywords from today's lesson. When you're finished, remember, you can upload it to Tapestry, you can put it on the Facebook website and you can even send it to Year 4 teachers email. Thanks guys and enjoy your activities.